comedian Julia Morris was the first to admit her marriage to Dan Thomas was not perfect, but she has since come forward months after their divorce to shed some light on the breakdown. Speaking on Nova's breakfast radio show Fitzy and Whippa, Julia confessed her now ex-husband believed that giving compliments was fake. My ex-husband thought that that giving compliments is fake, she said. Like I would frock myself up if we were having a night out and I said f-r-o-c-k frock myself out. I get all ready I come downstairs and head say are you ready, self-love or self-saucing as Julia would call it, became a common practice to boost her own confidence. No wonder I am so needy. I always do stuff like look in the mirror and be like oh Lady J, you're looking beautiful tonight. According to New Idea, it was believed the couple understood the relationship has simply run its course before calling it quits in mid-2022. It's all very amicable. They are still figuring things out, but there's two children involved and Julia and Dan are determined to put their daughters first, a friend revealed in October. They also confirmed there was no nastiness between Julia and Dan. They've been through a lot together and I think they realized it was time to move on. I am pretty sure they will stay friends, they added, after being in a relationship for two decades, Julia admitted she had become very good at being a married woman. Well, it's been 20 years since I was a single lady. And I don't mean going out and picking up. I just mean, how do you respond to being a single person? She said. I am actually I think I am very good at being married. But I like that bit. Earlier this year, Julia told Stellar she thought about leaving Dan once a year due to their arguments. But she also never imagined being without the man she nursed through breast cancer in 2012. Fitzy suggested she set sights on I am a celebrity, get me out of here, co-host Dr. Chris Brown but Julia found some problem areas with that love match. There'd not be anything more enticing than a woman who's nearly you know, mid-50s with teenage children who's been through an intense amount of trauma. I think I could be the lady of his dreams, she joked.